Guys, let's go. Let's get nasty. Let's get, let's read, let's read the, the fandom page for me. Here we go. Look at my badges. My page is semi-protected. It contains material from Wikipedia. I'm in the Wikitubia Hall of Fame. I'm a winner in the Wikitubia Awards. I have more than 1 million subscribers. I have more than 5 million subscribers. I, oh yeah. I, it's fancy. No, I don't. Uh, I play video games. I'm a musician. I'm a vlogger. I'm from England. I'm male. I created my account in 2011. I'm a content creator. Sleepy boys, there we are. Woo! Technoblade, Phil, Tommy, I've got... Oh, I met Technoblade. I'll talk about that in a bit. I'll talk about that later. And the Dream SMP. Hell yeah. I'm a dirty crime boy. Sorry, Griffin McElroy. I'm sorry, Griffin. Griffin McElroy. I'm sorry. Sorry for taking your thunder. Will Gold, born September 14th, 1996, better known online as Wilbur Soot, formerly known as Soot House Wilbur, is an English musician, solo YouTuber, and Twitch streamer who's best known for being the front man and editor of the group Soot House and previously editor for fellow YouTuber Jack Soot's Alive. Is that true, chat? Am I best known for the channel Soot House and previously known as being Jack Soot's Alive's editor? Is that my claim to fame? Might be. Hannah Roo, thank you for the 20. I think so. It could be. He has released an album on Spotify and has made a few viral parody songs such as Karen, Please Come Back, I Miss the Kids, The Nice Guy Ballad, and I'm In Love With An E-Girl. Internet ruined me and his latest one being Your New Boyfriend. Currently, he mainly does live streams on Twitch and then post edited highlights onto YouTube. He is also the lead vocalist and guitarist of the indie rock band Lovejoy that debuted in May 2021 with their EP, Are You Alright? Holy shit, there's a lot in here. What YouTube channels are... These are some old ones. Wow. Okay, there's a lot here. What are the most noted? I'm not going to read it all because I'm, I'm, I'm just can't, I just can't be bothered, I think, is the problem. History, the editor Will Bray RG, SMP Earth, Dream SMP, Skyblock Randomizer, The Raj Chiller, and Neachu, Brighton Meetup. Brighton Meetup has a... Okay. Brighton Meetup, E-Girls... He literally lives in Brighton. e -girl Song Trilogy, Trivia, Minecraft Championship, Controversies, The Slazo Drama. To this day, I, 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 apparently this is important for my life, The Slazo Drama, that I think I tweeted once about when I had 5,000 followers. <sighs> Chris me quick, name of the 10. I want to see some trivia for me and then we'll move on. He's the second channel called Wilbur Music. Correct. He plays a blue Fender player telecaster named Baby Blue. Yes, I do. I have I have two guitars. Uh, I have Golden Brown and Baby Blue, both named after drugs. <laughs> Which I don't do. Don't worry, I'm not a meth user. Uh, he, st he started playing guitar five months before his 21st birthday, practicing about 10 hours a day and is self-taught. Used to practice 10 hours a day. I don't, I don't play 10 hours a day anymore. He does not only play guitar, he can also play the bass, mandolin, baritone, ukulele, piano, and lute. I, I play more than that. I play the regular ukulele for a start as well. In 2020, he released an album on Spotify titled Lucy Gave Me Asthma. True! On the Genius Lyrics page, he explained that the pollution in London gave him asthma. Did I actually say that fully? Because I'm pretty sure it was... Hannah Ruth, think of the 10. Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't... I'm pretty sure it was asthma-adjacent symptoms. Anyway. Uh, he has a post-nasal drip as a result of developing asthma. No, uh, the post-nasal drip is the... Is the uh, asthma adjacent? Yes! Why does the world need to know about my phlegm? My phlegm? Who out there is sat there going, hmm, I wonder how Wilbur's post-nasal drip is doing. Do you want to see my beacon spray? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. He likes geography, calling himself a geography nerd in the video. A geography nerd plays GeoGuessr. Okay, Wilbur is very interested in accents, claiming one of his party traits ability to identify someone's place of origin based on their accent in the UK. Uh, he has his own Raj Chiller, where he befriended Twitch streamer Nikki Neachu. She won the show and chose love. There are rumors that he and Nikki are dating due to the results of the Raj Chiller. However, they have both say several times they are not and are just good friends. He also befriended YouTuber and Twitch streamer Minx, better known as Just a Minx, who initially chose host, ended up wanting to change it to love. Ha! That gets included in that's very funny to me and play second on the show he's part of the sleepy boys inc along with technoblade filza and as of september 12th tommy in it he's currently learning to speak dutch yeah he's found of jack Storber, crywank and many other musicians he's done cover songs he has done covers of songs from during one of his most popular series on twitch and youtube you laugh you lose he said he doesn't laugh frequently on his own he stated a few times he laughs a lot more when he's with friends Th that is everyone on earth who just sits on their own and laughs 
Wait, can it? Wait, wait, hold on. I want to do the thing. I want everyone, everyone at home right now. I want everyone to, I want everyone to laugh on the count of three, right? Everyone just go ha on the count of three. Where right? when I when I get to when I get to zero, when I say z when I say now, I'll say the word now, and you all need to shout ha as loud as you can. Right, all of you at home, right? Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? You ready, chat? We're all gonna go at the same time. You ready? Ready? Three, two, one now so now here's the thing here's the thing all over the world right now people just in their houses doesn't matter where you are you might be it might be nighttime where you are it might be daytime some people may have whispered it because they're trying to be quiet because their parents were asleep or something some people may have shouted it at the top of their lungs but for a moment there we were all we were all together we were all together i feel cringe you are cringe Nothing worth doing in life isn't cringe, chat. Everything worth doing in art is a little bit cringe, you know? Imagine what would have been said if I told the Soot House lot that I was going to make a Minecraft role-playing series based off of a musical. They say it was so cringe, huh? They say it was cringe. But you know what? I think it was worth it. Le Manberg is one of my favourite things I've done. Come on. Bring it in for a hug. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Bring it in for a hug. That's very good. Sorry you had to see me in such high definition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on with this bullshit. Uh, rules. Who needs the... Why is this in there? He moved from London to Brighton in 2020. Yeah, he's six foot six tall. Yeah, makes him the tallest member of the Sleepy Boys. Just ahead of Technoblade, who's six foot three. Yeah. He's the he's an only child by blood, but has step siblings. Well, this music on Spotify 8.8 million times. He uses a Rode NT1A microphone. True. And a, and a Go XLR. He has a very weak and distorted sense of taste. True. He said he could faintly taste things. Of course I can. He's a hypochondriac. He has hypothyroidism. Nope. I have hypothyroidism. You dumbasses wrecked. Hypothyroidism. He is anemic. Used to be. He is a licensed glider pilot. Used to be. He's an ongoing bit where he comes up with a random date when someone asks him his birthday. Oh, God. I literally was doing that 10 minutes ago. Ah. <laughs> Some things never change, chat. Some things never change. <laughs> his favorite color is teal. This is so long. No one needs to know any of this. No one needs to know all of that. No one, no one cares about me that much. <laughs> What's I gonna do? Oh yeah, let's talk about America, chat. So for those of you that don't know, uh, I went away for two weeks uh, to go to America for fun. Because uh, I wanted to. I didn't tell you guys I was going because what happened to your hair? What did happen? Nothing. It just looks like this. Um. <laughs> uh, so I went to America. Uh, and I didn't tell any of you because I wanted to keep it a little secret. I like doing things privately sometimes. I think it's important as a public figure to do things for yourself sometimes, you know? And I'm super far. I'll tell you guys everything. I'll show you guys where I used to live if you want. You can see all that. I don't care. But I, I, I did it for fun. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was great. Uh, I went... Uh, I, I met up. I didn't meet many people, actually. I met up with Ted. Uh, I went bowling a lot. <laughs> I did a lot of bowling. It was really, really fun. Uh, and I drove to San Francisco and back again along Route 1, which was beautiful. But the one person I did see, one person that Schlatt spoiled it. I know he did. I know he did because um, I don't know if you guys have seen me and Schlatt's Hot Pocket video. Uh, I decided this time I was going to buy Hot Pockets because Schlatt was supposed to be coming, I think, to California where I was staying. Uh, and he didn't in the end. But I bought Hot Pockets so we could share one together, as promised years ago. Uh, if you haven't seen me and Schlatt eating Hot Pockets, we promised we would uh, we would eat a Hot Pocket together. Anyway, I went to visit Technoblade. I drove all the way there. And I met him in person. I saw his face, chat. Do you know I'd never seen Technoblade's face? That was the first time. <laughs> He's doing well. He's doing well. I have, I have a couple funny stories that I'm sure Techno will enjoy me saying. Uh, we sat in his garden most of the time. We actually... So a lot of people were saying how on the tweet uh, Techno posted how... I was like in a corner. They were like, wow, you know, he's well enough to go inside. He is well enough to go inside with me, but we still hung out uh, outside his dad's house. Uh, 
And it was a lot of fun. Um, I did pelt him at one point straight in his, his straight in his surgery. So he, so so Technoblade has an apple tree in his garden, right? And it's a really nice apple tree. But his neighbors complain that they rot and attract rats. And uh, obviously Techno with with his arm is probably not very good for him to be climbing trees and picking apples, right? So so I went up the tree and I started doing it for him. I was I was picking all the apples for him because I didn't want him to hurt himself by climbing a tree while he's while he's just had surgery. So I, so I climbed up the tree for him and started picking all of the apples. And like I was like gently throwing them into a bag he was holding in the on the ground in the garden. And um, at one point he said that I was really bad at throwing. So I just took an apple and as hard as I could pelted it. <laughs> I pelted it at Technoblade. <laughs> and, um, I aimed for, like, his stomach. But I missed and hit him right here. Right where his surgery was. And and my my boy Technoblade, he's a champion. Because he just, he just puts down the basket. And just, and just stands there like this. And just... Wait. <laughs> I felt so bad. I felt so bad. But also, it was quite funny. And he did deserve it for making fun of my throwing ability. I was a goalkeeper, motherfucker. I have a, I have a, I have a throwing arm. Poor B, thank you for the five. <laughs> oh, it was good. Oh, oh, I just have another nice story. So, um, while we were eating in his dad's garden, uh, his mum came over and... She made us some, made us some pie. She made, and she put a little W on it. She made like a pork pie. She had, it was in a little, a little ceramic bowl. And she came over and she was like, and she, and she was so, she was so nice. She was so friendly to me. She had a very, she was, she was so like, so like kind. And she brought a little ceramic bowl. And in the bowl, she baked me a little, a little steak pie. So steak and vegetables, I think it was. And she she put a little W. She'd written a W with pastry on the top. And I'd never had one because we don't really do like pies, like like sweet pies. You know, even though that wasn't a sweet pie, but like we don't really do many like American style pies. And I was, <laughs> it was so sweet. I was so I felt so I felt so blessed. That is mum, bro. And she did, and she was like, and she was like, I'm not gonna stay very long. Don't worry, I'm gonna go. And then she just said she left. It was so sweet. It was so sweet. The entire time, Techno looked like he wanted to, he wanted to throw himself off a bridge. Like he was just, as his mother was being like all cute and coming over him and like, and like being like, hello, being so sweet. Techno was, Techno, Techno went and stood on the other end of the garden. Being like, I've got a social distance. <laughs> it was clear he's just very embarrassed. It was very sweet. It was very nice. It was a really nice time hanging out with with old with old techno. Yeah, it was a good time. We sat and we and we talked. We chatted the shit. Uh, uh, I think we were all a little bit shy at the beginning, but after a little while, we 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 loosened up. And uh, we ordered, we ordered Five Guys milkshakes as well. In case you guys wanted to know, Techno's choice of milkshake is chocolate. He's a chocolate milkshake guy. Personally, I'm a Kinder Bueno guy. I went for the Kinder Bueno that time around. Kinder Bueno and banana was my choice of milkshake, actually, which I think was a damn good option. I, I, although, although the problem is with them. Um, with uh, Five Guys is while they do make it like they make they like actually make the milkshakes right the problem is is that it did have chunks of banana in which was a little bit gross but it tasted nice so I choose vanilla that's valid people who are anti vanilla are idiots like like vanilla I don't know uh, vanilla really got like the cream of the crop by becoming plain like vanilla's a flavor vanilla is a plain ice cream is just ice Plain vanilla is sorry. Plain ice cream is just ice. Vanilla, vanilla really did well by becoming the plain flavor, despite not being plain and in fact being a flavor. 
crazy, right? I choose Oreo. Oreo is the Oreo is the um people who think they're crazy. Okay, name some milkshake flavors. I'm gonna tell you who would say what. Oreo Oreo is for people who think they're being crazy and different, but are actually more boring than people that choose vanilla. If you choose vanilla, you're more interesting than an Oreo. Bye. Cookie dough, you're crazy. You're 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 so totally random. You're a crazy, you're a crazy random person if you choose, if you choose chocolate cookie. You're just like, oh, you're off the wall bananas. Uh, mint chocolate, you are a dad. You are a 50 year old man taking his kids out to the beach. Strawberry, strawberry, you're a child and that's fine. You're a child in the good way. You're not an annoying one. However, Nutella, you are a child <laughs> in, in the bad way. Mango, you are a mother. You're not a father anymore. You are a 50 year old woman taking her children out to taking her children out to the beach. Chocolate, you're a fan of the classics. You're a classic and I like that. Vanilla, you're cool. You're cool. You're not trying too hard. Banana, you're, you, you are, no one wants to go near you. There's nothing inherently wrong with banana. I, I like banana. But you are, you are, you, no one wants to talk to you. You are that weird kid um, on the playground in recess who hides in a bush and pretends they're a wolf. Pistachio, you are a grandfather. You are 70 years old. Pistachio milkshake. Jesus. Cotton candy, you are boring. You're boring. Don't want to hear about it. Coffee, you are, you are depressed you are you are working in an office you you just you just your life is just wake up go to work go home sleep wake up next day and you just you need to you need to drown out the tirade of just the meaningless repetition of of, of our existence so you just put coffee in you just put coffee in your milkshake you know you get all the options in the world you can have you can have peanuts you can have mangoes you can have strawberries and you choose coffee you choose the most just plain, not even like, not even like a mocha, like a hot chocolate. You just choose coffee, just a black coffee, no sugar. You want to get the day over with. Coconut, you do not exist. You don't exist. No, you don't, you're not, a, that's not, no one's milkshake. No one's favorite milkshake is coconut. Eve Street, think of the tent. Look, we're, we're, we've done now. We've, we've done milkshakes over. Me and Tetno hung out. Uh, and afterwards I, I drove to San Francisco. Which was really nice. I went to San Francisco. I got to see the Golden Gate Bridge. It was sick. It was so cool. Genuinely, I've so I've seen a, I've seen a few monuments in my time. I've seen a few. You know, I've seen I've seen my fair share of Eiffel Towers, and my Leaning Tower of Pisa's, and even my Twisting Tower Malmo. Right. I've seen them all. I've seen them all, sister. James Marriott just asked me if I want to get some food. I'm live, James Marriott. Leave me alone, right? This is my time. This is my time. Anyway, I saw the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'll tell you, right? From seeing a lot of a lot of monuments, Golden Gate Bridge is by far one of my favorites. Like, really cool. Also, San Francisco. If you live in San Francisco, you are. That is a lovely place to live, man. The streetcars with all the cables over the top. Everyone just looks so cool. Like I was like, I was looking around and everyone's just like got such cool fashion sense. It's by the sea. It wasn't too hot. It was like, it was like hot, but not too hot. Good job. San Francisco. Lovely place. Would live there. Would live there indeed. And then afterwards I drove back on Route 1. Route 101. Man, it was nice. California is... A bit of a paradise i've come to the conclusion if you if if, if you are if, if if you are a fortunate person who who has the has the ability to have the privilege to drive these places and and stay in these lovely areas california is, is kind of a garden of eden it's good no look yeah don't spam your location chat chat are we gonna have to get are we gonna have to what was the name of my guy who's my guy that taught internet safety got his name Danger Boy, Danger Boy. Am I gonna have to bring back Danger Boy to teach you guys, right? What do they teach you in school? Do they teach you internet safety in school? Because they should, right? Internet safety, yeah? You don't say where you live. Stop it. You just, like, that's like number one thing. 
You don't say your age, you don't tell strangers on the internet your age, and you also don't tell people where you live. Yeah? <laughs> if you don't know that, I'm telling you it now. <laughs> They do a shitty job in school. Okay, well, it's very simple. I'll teach you it now. Don't say how old you are on the internet. And don't say where you're from. And the, the, you know what? Saying your age is even worse because you get banned forever from Twitch. And so... It's just, it's just basic. Anyway. Then I went to New York. I saw a rat chat. I saw a rat outside the Stephen Colbert experience. <laughs> I was in Times Square and they had a big sign for Stephen Colbert. My hair, you're right, chat. My hair really isn't cooperating. Let me put on, let me put on the hat. I was outside the Stephen Colbert experience in Times Square. Don't worry, I wasn't watching Stephen Colbert. I don't actually know who he is or what he's about, but I assume he's a talk show host. And um, I saw a rat. He was scampering. He was actually the only uh, only creature, the only living thing. He was the only living thing outside the Stephen Colbert experience. So I named him Stephen Colbert, the rat. The rat's name is Stephen Colbert. Will, your hairline. I love it so much. I love it with chest. Will, the hair. Pink is your color. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so... Stephen the rat, St Stephen, Stephen the rat, he hid under a planter. And I tried to take a Polaroid picture of him, but I failed. I brought my Polaroid around, so it was really fun. I saw the Statue of Liberty. I saw the One World Trade Center. Uh, I saw the Empire State Building. I went through Central Park. I went to the New York Museum. Uh, I, I walked along the High Line, the, like, the, big, the big walkway. Uh, Nicerto, thank you for the five. Uh, what else? What else was there to see? I went to the September 11th memorial. Uh, I went to Battery Park. Yeah. Oh, Times Square, of course. East Street thing with the tent. It was great. Chat. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. New York gets a thumbs up from me. Good job, New York. Uh, I'm actually planning on living there. I will live there. <laughs> I don't know if you've spoken about this. But someone else wants to move there for a bit too. And I think I'm going to go with them. I want to say who? Soft boy. Soft boy. Oh my God. I finally have updates on soft boy. Chat. It's almost done, I think. We're on round nine, I think. We're on number nine of trying to do, of trying to do soft boy. I don't think I've got it. I think it's, I think it's almost there. I'm like a couple, uh, I'm like two instruments away and a couple little tweaks and I've got it. It's done. I think it's done. And then I've got to do the music video. And you know what? I'm just going to drop it unannounced. I'm not even going to announce it. I'm just going to release it. <laughs> and then I'll do a little gig. I'll do a little gig on the day. I'll play soft boy. I'll bring my guitar in. Oh, my guitar broke chat. The, um, the bridge, bridge line broke. So I've got to get that glued back on. I'll believe it when I see it. Look. I've, I normally say that it's on the way. This time it's like on the way. I do just like to get you guys excited over nothing though. So maybe I'm just lying again. Simone. Yes, yeah, some poor Simone. She'll be repaired. Don't worry. I'm going to get Simone repaired. Sim Simone is like, what, seven years old now? Almost? No. Five years old. Simone's like five years old, chat. So... And she's been all over the world. She's been she's been to America. Natalorian thing with the five. I brought her to American. To uh, brought her to American. Brought her to America the first time I went there in November when I went on Game Theory and stuff. I, I had Simone with me then. Simone was my backpack. <laughs> I wore my uh, guitar bag with Simone as like carrying all my stuff, just because that's how I that's how I used to carry things when I went around Europe. I used to bring my guitar and I used to I used to carry all of my stuff in the guitar case. So Simone's been all over. She's she's an old girl, five years old. Which is old for someone like me who only, who's literally that's my first guitar. So um she just needs a little repair. She just needs a little glue. Will, can you explain the thumb photo? Yeah, I did at the beginning of the stream. I just have a really long thumb, look chat. Hold on. There we go. Long thumb. Really long thumb. Here, have some blue. Thank you for the five. 
yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, New York was really really good. Uh, I then flew back home. Uh, and normally chat. Uh, so as you guys know, I'm I, I'm I'm really into aviation. I love flying. I love planes. Uh, I used to do. I I was training to be a light aircraft pilot for quite some time before I ran out of money. Couldn't afford it. Um, and I since the coronavirus pandemic though, I've been scared to go on planes. I've been really, really scared to fly. Uh, flying has been terrifying to me. Like, it's just spooky. So, uh, what I have been trying to do is trying to overtake that uh, feeling of fear whenever I fly. And um, basically, I, I think I've cracked it. Tommy's in the chat. Is Tommy in the chat? He's this always stupid fly boy. What do you want, Tommy? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk about my, my, my fear. I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to be honest with myself, you know, and just explain to people my, my little fear. Come on, Tommy, spit it out. No, please go ahead. I'll listen. How about you, you call me? How about we cool? How about we cool, huh? Oh, flight boy. Hello. Have you seen the storms? Yeah. I was, in, I was in them. You were in them? Yeah, I was walking to my office. How do you think I got here? Oh, I, I would have thought you ordered an Uber. No, I wouldn't. I would never order an Uber. I would have thought me. you would have uh, would have ordered an unenvironmentally friendly Uber. I would have got a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got a private jet. Got a private jet to my office, yeah? Oh yeah, that's what I do. Would you I, from room to room? Would you ever go in a private jet, Tommy? Just for oh, fun? Oh yes, just so I could know I polluted the environment. <laughs> <laughs> just so when the world's burning up and the looters come to strangle me to death, I know I played a part in it. I think I'd only get a private jet if traveling was physically more difficult because of being known. I'm gonna get a private jet just because we've had this conversation. Just so, just so you can pollute everyone. You're gonna, I just, I, a man's gotta pollute. You're gonna fly really short distances. Just to... <laughs> yeah, loads of them. Gonna go back and forth and forget things. <laughs> <laughs> you fly to America and you're like, oh shit, but oh, wait. Shit, my Nintendo Switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, I left. I left. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I literally, I literally had to think of your like most prized possession, and I was about to go. I left Tubbo. <laughs> <laughs> he left Tubbo in all of his glory back in Bognor, right? What Clive, is your most prized possession aside from Tubbo? What is your most prized possession, Tommy? I don't know. Pro probably myself. I'm looking around, and I'm more valuable than everything here. Are you in your flat right now? Oh yeah. I was over. It Literally, I was I talking know. to you in was... person less than two hours ago. Can I just say, you've completely changed my mind on asbestos. Yeah, can I tell the story? An hour, no, well, an hour ago, I was scared of it, and now I just, I'm curious. I want to eat it. So, um, Tommy's room in his flat uh, has a room with a big label on the front that says, do not enter asbestos. <laughs> So, in, so this think. is this is Tommy and Tommy's landlord. Didn't to, didn't your landlord like warn you not to go in the asbestos room? He was room? like, didn't he like? Don't worry about it. Like he was like, like that room isn't really your room. Yeah, but he was like the way he said the way you the way you described it to me was that he said it was like a curse. Like he was like, don't enter the asbestos room. Like he was like proper like, don't go in. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. No, he was not Ellie again. Thank you the five and. Basically, I found this room to be fascinating. I was obsessed. <laughs> now, Tommy's a good boy. Tommy's a good little boy. When Tommy gets told not to do something, he doesn't. So when Tommy's landlord was like, don't go in the asbestos room, Tommy was like, okay. And when Tommy's landlord is like, install this phone so I can so I can make sure you're not, so make sure you're being good. He's like, okay. As opposed to me who would say no and then shut the door on them. Tommy's, Tommy's, Tommy's a good lad. What do you mean? Tommy, you, you do know you can do that. Others. Tommy, you can do that. No, I can't. Yes, you get your landlord can't. I'm paying for the apartment. No, but Will. no, but you but, I have to pay for. Everything. Yeah, I know you have to pay for it. But you got to understand that you you have like a certain right as a tenant. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get my jet and think about this one. I'm. <laughs> you have <laughs> you have tenancy rights. This is going in one ear. You have a other. right to privacy. You have a right. I you have, have a you have privacy. a right. They have they have to give you 24 hours before they visit or call you. 
they he does not give me to really yes can you wait let me write this down <laughs> i have rights <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever? Does he just? Does he ever just come in with his own set of keys? He's not okay. There was. I think. I'm trying to think. He he. The the phone was just there. <laughs> yeah. He didn't like hand it to me. Like I went out and Why then you I just came back. Unplug it. it. Was... Can you just unplug? Wait. Are you at your computer right now? Yeah. Can you follow the cable and tell me where it goes? Okay. One sec. One sec. Boomer! Yeah? What? Oh, Phil! F Phil's not here! Wilbur! Yeah! He goes straight into the asbestos room! Oh, fuck. Tommy... No. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about the asbestos room. So for those of you that don't know, uh, let me let me go on the Wikipedia page for asbestos for you, right? So here's asbestos, right? Asbestos is a naturally occurring fibro fi fi fibrous silicate material. There are six types composed of long and thin fibrous crystals. Uh, uh, asbestos fiber can lead to various dangerous lung conditions, including mesothel me mesothelioma, mesothelioma, asbosis, and lung cancer. It is now notorious as a serious health and safety hazard. Barely. It used to be used as a building material until they discovered how bad it was. Well, really. they say when they say used to, what they mean is it still is there. Exactly. So, in the so, other room. So Tommy has a room full of asbestos in his flat, right? Hogsbestos is what we call it. Hogsbestos. And um, and I wanted, to, being me, I wanted to go and investigate the asbestos <laughs> you want to go room. Go scratch it. I will. My, my okay. I will be honest. My exact <laughs> thing I said was <laughs> I, I wanted defend. to go in. I said I wanted to go in and rub the fibers so that they all go into the air. <laughs> and kill me. I said I wanted I wanted to rub the fibers. I was going to go in the asbestos room, hold my breath, rub the fibers, and leave. That was my. And then I would be there, breathing them all in, having a great time. Yeah. So that was my that was my intention, right? And but Tommy wouldn't let me in the room, and I asked why, and he says because the landlord won't let him. The door doesn't have a lock on it, Tommy. I know. You you could just open the door. Yeah, and then the fumes will get in my head. No, but. Unless you you have to disturb the the fabric for it to you can just go That's in the why room. I leave it. Tommy, it's not fabric, Tommy, can you it? Tommy, can you be honest with me? Um, well, man, if I'm gonna be honest, I always am honest. <laughs> you know. Are you scared? Well. Are you scared uh, of your landlord? I'm just scared of the future. You're just scared. I've, I've got a bus and I've got a bike. <laughs> it's crazy, and I and I don't know why because I can't drive a bus. Sorry. Is your sorry. landlord scaring you? A little. But can I be honest? You know what scares me more? Homeless. Is your hard fucking floorboards. No! I gave you a mattress! floorboards that I have to sit right. on. I, Tommy comes over to my... Tommy I calls me up. I, he I calls me, me the up. Tommy rings no, me. No Tommy rings me on alone. the telephone. Goes, and he you know says, Wilbur, my house this. is full of carbon monoxide. CO. I say, that's not good, Tommy. Your house can't be full of carbon monoxide. Well, so I'm I say, do you want to stay at my house? Early he early says, early. yes. I say, I'm sorry early. I don't really have any blankets or anything, but I will drag my mattress downstairs and you can sleep on my mattress. I give you my I mattress. somewhere to sleep. I give you my sofa cushions. Oh, I give you a oh, little Wilbur. blanket because and a coat like? to you know wear. I like is the cold. I like the All fucking I cold. do then, literally the minute he arrives, I go on Amazon and I buy a goose feather down mattress. Uh, duvet cover and two pillows and i give them to you the very next day on amazon prime which by the way if you have an amazon prime account you can actually f subscribe for free to the wilbur soot channel hello tommy yeah i'm really sorry yeah yeah no i'm sorry yeah i know it's almost not i call cool. you said usually about 9 p.m okay Sorry. Cool. All right. I need some asbestos. Yeah. Okay, hello. Hello. Tell me. Hello. Tell me. I'm back. Tell I'm me. back. Yeah. We gotta. We gotta fucking get you out of there, King. Well. You need an office, Tommy. 
I need an office. We should rent an office together, a big one let's, with two with two no, cubic one a, a streaming room for each of us. Here's what we should do, Will. Is we should get an office and we should have the ground floor as a shop and we should call it Tommy and It Towers. And everyone can visit it and we'll only sell Tubbo products of Tubbo <laughs> Mouse. And it'll be called Tommy and It Towers and it'll be the biggest tourist <laughs> attraction in Brighton. And everyone will come from all around England. Do you actually want to rent street. an office? Should we actually rent a... a, I wanna, a I, I'm going to get a building. A build, You and want I'm a whole get, building? You want I'm going to get Tommy in it towers and people can come around and buy things. And then you can park your private jet outside. I can park my private jet on the roof on the jet pad. <laughs> and then me and you will go up on our second and, and floor. And sometimes we'll, we'll just leave the engine running. Just to, just to make sure... Sometimes we'll just leave and cough. <laughs> We'll just leave the engine running just to just to pump as much CO2 into the atmosphere as possible. Yeah, yeah. If we... Do you want to make a book? Yeah. Let's buy an office and well, make a book. have already been making a book all these years? What? No. no that, was my, that was my dream book. SMP law. Quote book. Quote book. Oh, the quote book! Yeah, I, I have been making the quote book. Wait, well, you... Can you, read, can you read out some of the newest Tommy Innit quotes? Do you... Do you want Read that? them out. Read out some of the newest ones, except the ones that would sort of end my career. <laughs> <laughs> except the, except the uh, sort of, you know, very pollution-y ones. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would end your career. Um, okay, yeah, okay yeah, so the most me. recent Tommy Innit quote is... The, 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 the people haven't heard this in a long uh, time. I miss, I miss when I had other friends that weren't just you, Wilbur. <laughs> that was when I was living with you. And immediately before that, you said, I put my balls in your dishwasher, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes, I put my balls in your dishwasher, Wilbur. Immediately followed by, I miss when I had other friends that weren't just you. What was before the balls? Uh, I don't want to go clubbing. I want to sit quietly with a loved one and read the Bible. See, if people don't want to buy these, I don't, all this NFT shenanigans is bullshit, all right? What people need is hard well, words. Well, guess I'm just a normal gamer. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we we got some good ones. <laughs> but I can see you looking at the ones you can't read out loud. <laughs> I like, uh, I, so I got some quotes from Ted Niverson. He actually did five in a row uh, at one point when we were bowling. Yeah, hit me. Uh, I can read you four of them. Okay. Uh, I can literally make the hardest material known to man uniform at my bidding. Referring to creating diamond blocks in Minecraft. Uh, and then followed immediately by, When in Rome, America is the Rome of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the next one is, is a chant. It's, Strong jaws, no laws! over and over again and then my personal favorite i was unaware of the physical limitations of what frogs can do at seven years old i heavily overestimated how much torment its body could go through <laughs> what to tell you about the time me and shelby were driving uh, across san francisco and there was a sign that just said a taco a day and nothing else. <laughs> just no, no. It was at the side of the road on Interstate Route 5. And it was just in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a field. And it just said, a taco a day. Why? There, there, nothing else. There was no keeps the doctor away. Or, <laughs> or it was just a taco a day. Oh, do you know, I'm getting a billboard. Why? Do you want one as well? Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Times Square? No, in Brighton. <laughs> That's a bit of a step down from my imagination. Well, no, why? Well, I don't know why you're imagining with such hyperbole. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing one. It's and a big promotion. Of, uh, me and Ash are making some propaganda for me to pass Gordon. And then, but in the meantime, I'll be getting billboards. If you'd like one, I would. I can reserve you a billboard. I would okay. like it. Can I? Can I? Am I going to just be on your billboard, or do I have to put my you own can, design you on? You have it? to. There has to be the text. Wilbur so endorses Tommy in it. Okay, can, can we do that? Can we do it? Can I do a Lovejoy advert? A big, a big advert for my yeah, band. Yeah, but it has to, it has to loop round to you endorsing me because this is a, this is a carefully 
planned out campaign to pass Gordon. Sh who's Gordon? Basically, I it turns out I am up there as one of the most followed British TikTokers, and the number one is Gordon Ramsay, and he's just a massive dickhead, and my mum doesn't like him, and Philza doesn't like him, mm -hmm. and he's just mean. Like, mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. probably mean. Yeah, so I'm, I'm mean. going for him. Yeah, I'm going for him. I'm he's only mean recently. Down. If you watch his old, like, British Kitchen Nightmares, he's actually really chill. Like I his think, first like show. me, Will, people change. I don't. Yeah, he but... he just he was he he changed the wrong way. Yeah, I know. He what changed he needs to into do a bad some, man. Grounding, polluting with me, and then so, he'll be all right. But where where yeah. is this billboard going to be? Um, probably the one near the train station. Okay, and and I'll also have one advertising Lovejoy. P.S. Follow Tommy in it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, let me put that under the note. Okay, okay. so I have rights. I'll, I'll make like a really serious Lovejoy advert poster and then immediately put in the corner like also Tommy in it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah I think, cool. Wait, can I do... Can I Can I make my billboard just say like... It's why, like why, a, why don't you make the billboard now, Will? Well, I was going to... Well, I'm not okay, doing no. it on pain. I was saying oh, that what, okay, we do, well. what we do is that like, we get like a proper like proper billboard, right? And then like in the text, it just says like, you know... It says like you know you uh f go check out on Spotify for Lovejoy and then it's like a big thing being like Lovejoy comp is composed of Wilbur Sir and Ash Kaboza and all that right and it keeps going yep. through and then eventually like halfway through it's just like like Lovejoy hoping to start gigs soon Tommy in it is behind Gordon Ryan <laughs> <laughs> and just I just pivot I just pivot yeah, and then and then and then at the end first. it just says follow Tommy in it hashtag pass Gordon hashtag, well, do you know what we're doing first hashtag pass Gordon is a good hashtag not hashtag it. team Tommy or hashtag pass, pass Gordon. Gordon pass yeah, Gordon hashtag pass Gordon all right what we're doing first is we should, we're actually doing this like this week so you know in you know near James's coffee shop yeah yeah why is it James's <laughs> I don't because he's just always that guys James Marriott there's one coffee shop that James Marriott is yeah if you if you guys want to meet always. James Marriott in he's Brighton always in he's always going to shop, this one always, coffee shop every time. day and every he time never like, stops. Do you want to hang out and he's like oh dude I'm in the coffee shop well like why he never stops just go it's on the lanes you'll find it it's so <laughs> weird it's he's always oh wow you actually but yeah anyhow opposite that yeah Mm -hmm. Opposite that, there was this there was this jacket that was a jacket and it had the British flag on it and we're going to buy that. Mm -hmm. And then me and Ash are designing and we're going to put them all around Brighton, uh, uh, these posters on paper and we're going to blue tack them everywhere. We're going to spend like three days doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to tweet out the link and encourage people to print them out and put them in their schools. Now, I told Phil of this. He says, you know, that's encouraging vandalism. But that's a good thing. That's what you that's want to do. That's a good thing. That's what, that's the, that, I have the edge that Gordon doesn't, is no responsibility. Here's the thing, so you're, talk, you're talking about guerrilla marketing here, Tommy, right? I, I, uh, when I was, when I was, I have <laughs> so that wasn't a compliment. <laughs> but anyway, right. uh, that wasn't even an insult. So anyway. Oh, it was a neutral nunt. Yeah, anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no, when I was, when I was, Why is the mod saying move on from the hashtag spam? This is what we want. It's yeah, guerrilla, baby. It, it, it's guerrilla. Look, Tommy's, Tommy's doing some guerrilla marketing right now. It's okay. What but um. It's it's just where you market stuff, but not by conventional means. And I was speaking to someone who was tr who wanted to be Lovejoy's manager. Uh, he didn't get the job, but one of the things he said was, was when he, he was gorilla? working when he was working with another band, they tried to get some billboards around Europe and they couldn't do it. So instead, they hired a bunch of people to just physically go and like scribble out all of the billboards and put their name on all of them. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's what you need to do, man. You need to do some guerrilla right, guerrilla marketing. Well, because I was a bit nervous about it, and I sat down with Ash, and he was saying to me through his silent voice, he just said, <laughs> "Like you gotta be, you gotta be irresponsible to make art." And I went, "You're right." And then I went on the bird, I went on the beach, and Ash bought me some lighter fluid, and we set. Ash didn't buy me lighter fluid. Someone bought me some lighter fluid, and we'd set fire to Gordon's book. And I'm just like, we set, you fire. set, you burnt a book. Oh yeah, I can link it to you. What book did you burn? Gordon's. Tommy, I don't think you should be burning books. I don't think that sets a good precedent. But it's polluting. No. There was a very famous man in history who did some book burning, Tommy, and I'm not sure you should be... Uh... Tubbo? Not Tubbo, no. Oh, oh, okay. No, it was only because it was Gordon's cookbook. Uh, it's the only... No, no, no. Oh, 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 it's... Oh, I know. oh no, wrong one. No. <laughs> Uh, we, we'll, uh, <laughs> Tommy, I don't well, think no, you no, be no burning, book burning more billboards, less book burning. All right, deal, deal. Okay, more yeah, billboards, less book burning. More, more, more billboards. We'll do the posters this week, then the billboard next week. I mean, it's guerrilla marketing. 
if you hey. if you invoke if you invoke that, it's definitely gorilla. Not sure if it's ethical or good. We gotta stay ethical. We gotta stay ethical, my jeez. I don't think repeating those actions are, are, are good. We, no, we won't. We, I, I I never even thought about. But they're, defi that they're definitely gorilla. But they and and hey, no no. Oh jeez, I'm gonna need to get in my comfort jet. <laughs> You have, you have different ones, all idling. <laughs> all, all, all on standby. All, all of them idling with the engines on, ready for you to get in them at any moment. Phil thinks it's bad that my time is worth $20,000 an hour. Why? I don't know. I just said that to him and he started laughing his ass off. Says, I mean, Phil, my Tommy, I think worth. your time is priceless. No, $20,000. Is that how much you charge per hour, hour for what? One of my minutes is worth 20 of yours. Why do you charge $20,000 an hour? My valuable in it. My time's valuable. Did you did you forget we were live and then just start talking about your going rates? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I forgot. I was about to start invoicing you for my time. <laughs> <laughs> And then said... I remembered then I remembered that in the contract I'm not you allowed still, to. Do you know about Tommy still hasn't paid me for all the vlogs? <laughs> yeah, guys. I, no, do you I know I, do you know I'm technically on contract with Tommy? <laughs> The thing is, guys, I like to pay people to have fun with me. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not really fun if you're not earning, is it, eh? Well, but as someone who's worth a mere $16,000 an hour, as opposed to my superior 20000 I have to respect that. Okay, for everyone confused, at the beginning of Tommy's vlogs, Tommy wasn't sure how he should recuperate people in the vlogs, so he offered to put us on contract, right? Obviously, he doesn't do that now. Everyone just kind of hangs out for fun. But at the time, it was like right on the first few vlogs, and I was because like, like because I week, because like I used to I used trained. to be on all of Tommy's vlogs. I used to be like the go-to guy for the vlogs. I was like the first That's one right, to sign I can on. Spare a couple primes. Yeah, I, I was the first one to sign on to that contract, and um, the contract was eventually terminated, but I was never paid. Well, yeah, you got scammed, bitch. Tommy was like, you need to invoice me. And I said, no. No, but it's <laughs> you like, need to pay me. It was like, like two days of your week had to be for Tommy in it. And I was like, this just doesn't seem fair. I was two like, I do, Tommy, you pay, vlog, look, Tommy, I would have done. I still want to do the vlogs, man. Your vlogs I, are like, your vlogs are like oh. cool shit, like bungee jumping and going and playing in a fucking inflatable okay, aquatic. You, do you you know, do there was an, Tommy, you think you need to pay. Oh, this is off the bit now. I don't actually want to get oh. paid, right? Genuinely, you, two oh, days out. of my week to go and fuck around on an inflatable aquatic course and go to a theme park where it's where there's like barely anyone there tommy that's not i i would no, pay to do that for ages I just i'd pay to, to do that i want to make sure everyone's happy <laughs> you're just too too nice oh. and the thing is i am wholesome now clip this and give me <laughs> let's get in our jet will what am, what am i clicking i said clip oh clip i think it's a clip, clip this. with a p that turned violently from scams to L's to R's. That was a, <laughs> yeah, a man. stark transition. Tommy, have you... It's, uh, no, I'm not kind. You've changed. Ow. The Tom Simons vlogs used to be about aquatic parks and, and silly... I literally yesterday had an entire water park to myself. And... and Just you, you were... You and were too now, busy flying around. And now you... And now you only do... You only do lunch club bits. Lunch club. You do lunch club bits, and you do, and you do, and you do, it. and you do. We we broke lots of high priced I items. I did one. You did a video oh. where you destroyed things with a bat. Things that you know people less fortunate than you could have used. Yeah. You've changed, man. You used to be all about aquatic courses and and George not found. <laughs> I, used to, I used to be so aquatic. You used to so be about doggy. aquatic courses and George not found. Now you're about being a Tory and James Marriott, which oh, actually which actually oh, goes hand in hand. Goes so hand. Well, I want. I, you're welcome to do. I've got one vlog I'm doing the week after next, which I don't think you. I'll challenge you to do with me. Okay, I'm doing. So can you say it out loud, or do you have to text? Yeah, it yeah, me? yeah. No, no, no. So. I did a massive YouTuber tag one in a water park we had ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking, I just want to like get into the momentum of them more. You know, I want to do them once a week. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to, and I want to try it. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. I'm just going to like see if I can do that. Now That's you might be the thinking vlog. that might. Yeah, and I'll. Yeah. What? Will you do it with me? Will you wake up at like really early with me and go out and like, because well, everything will be really quiet. We can walk around everywhere and there'll be like no one there. No, there will be lots of people there. No, there won't. It's yes, 5 a.m. there will. That's 5 a.m. is when all the shops five... open. That's what? Every... Five... Yeah. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to dox you, man, but I, I, I know 
that the shops around you are open at five? Listen, I think that would be a challenge. N no, it would be dark. It's winter. Yeah, but by seven, I'll still be up for the day. But why? It's because I saw Emma Chamberlain do it. And she's cool. Yeah, and I, was I, like, I, I woke up that. at 5 a.m. for my flight yesterday. <laughs> That's not... What? what the fuck? I have never I woke up. I woke up in New York at 5 a.m. And I and, I mean, and my plane my plane my plane left at eight twenty a.m. and then I landed in the UK at eight p.m. No, but wouldn't you be like interested to see what happens? Though? Like, I'd be on the no, there's, no, there's, no, be no, no, there, it's not. That's you not. You think this is a bad idea? Yeah, I, d I think it's just hell? a really shit idea. Why did it, did Emma's video do well by any chance? I didn't even check. I I would have never. No, but honestly, I thought that was quite cool. Tommy, some people wake up at like 4 a.m. every day. That's just their They're day. Virgins. Also, wait, waking up at 5 a.m., it normally takes me about 40 minutes to get ready to go out, right? Yeah. So it would be like almost 6 a.m. by the time you go outside. No, I just get ready really fast. I'd have a cold shower as well. Chat, I remember, I, let me poll chat, because this just seems like the worst vlog idea I've no, ever heard. No, it doesn't. This would be sick. I No, and I remember your stream from ages ago where you were like, if you want to teach yourself discipline, just have a cold shower. Your body can just do it. And I was like, no, it can't. So I'm going to try it. I think that would be cool. I think people would be curious to see what happens. No, I, I, don't think, I don't think people would be. I don't think anyone cares. I think I think there are people like the bin men that wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah, but I'm not a bin man. Yeah, but... But like, I could be a bin man. That would be a better vlog. I, th I, I think. Stinky. Huh? You would be stinky, but I think that would be. You should do vlogs where you just like do a job. For I'll like. be bin man. Well, you had this one idea a while ago that I'm now. I now really want to do. If you'll do with me. What is it? Is uh, we just do it for like a day, and it's the same one that Vic did with KSI that you were like, we should do that. But you just can just, if you were like go in the sea, I just would, no think. Go in the sea? You'd be like, go in the sea. I'd be like, yeah, you'd be like, buy me. You can't, you'd be in charge. Oh, like, I'd thought, be your assistant. I thought the vlog was we just go in the sea. <laughs> Listen, I think you're overestimating. I think it would be fun to just do more stuff once a week as opposed to, you know, over deep it. Like, I want to do you, I no, have... you need to. You need to find that balance that you used to have yeah. in the Tom Simon's vlogs, man, where it used to be there was a bit of think, but it wasn't like. It wasn't like me and Dan TDM jump off of a bungee jump cord. It was instead me and George not found run around a inflatable aquatic cord. Oh, that bungee jump was oh, that was hard. <laughs> oh, you want to do like like I'm uh, you're like a servant or like I'm like your servant for a day? No, I'll be your servant. Oh, you want to be? That's not. I think you. Mm, okay. Oh, you can be my servant. Yeah, I think that would be funnier. I think people would find that funnier. Yeah, but I'd, I'd say go in the sea and you'd have to run in. I would have to run in the sea. Okay, I like that more. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it. You know how you could work it? You could work it as Simon says. You could do real life yes, Simon. Simon. Real, real life Simon says. I'm Simon. That would be that would be good. I think that that's the, that's that's a good that's a banging title. Real life Simon says. Simon says. Kill Pubbo. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you strangle him and he's just lying dead on the floor. Yeah, and then you can't do anything about it because Simon told you to. Because Simon told who's Simon? I don't know. He's a ghostly figure. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's just strangle him. You Pubbo. need more George too. More George in the vlogs. Doggy's hard. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> What I meant to say was Doggy is hard to contact. <laughs> oh shit! What did you do? <laughs> I just saw you go sideways. Oh, Tommy. Tommy? Yeah? Where, where are you? Wait, can you hear me? Is your wait? Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, Doggy's rather hard to contact. Yeah, well, he's you, not. I mean, you just need to might. give him stuff he wants to do because the things you wanted him to do are, are, are boring. You're how? I'll I'll come to your office right now and strangle you. Do it. Really? Yeah. How long will you be? I'll stay alive. Like twenty minutes. Oh fuck no. 
Well, okay. I'll run 10 minutes. Why don't you just get an Uber? Why don't you get your private jet? Oh, you're right. Okay, let me do some polluting. This is a good, this is an excellent chance Stay on to cool, pollute. actually. Wait, no. Do it, but stay on cool. Run here, but stay on cool. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right. I will. That's I'll let you in. That'll be cool. I'll okay, let you wait. in. You gotta give me. Oh yeah, and then you can leave me on the phone. Okay. All right, but you gotta give me two minutes just to get out, and then I'll call you. Okay. Well, Tommy's coming to my office then. <laughs> wait, but well, if we're doing this, you gotta get me Wagamamas. It's 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 nine p.m. They're not open. What? Okay, yeah. yo sushi. They're also Sainsbury's. not open. Sainsbury's is open. <laughs> get me Sainsbury's. <laughs> okay, I'll get you Sainsbury's. Okay. Yeah, when you bitch. arrive, yeah, I'm pretty much... I'm, uh, I'm not going to stream for too much longer when he arrives, but... Hey, it's quirky and spontaneous, dude. We are quirky and spontaneous. James Marriott, are you still here? Is James Marriott still here? We can get the whole gang. Is James Marriott still here? How do I find out? Where is James Marriott? Who is James Marriott? Why is James Marriott? Can I be James Marriott? When Tommy leaves, I'm really good at talking to chat on my own, but when Tommy leaves, I always feel like I don't know what to don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to I don't know what to do with myself. Like life is life is Eve Street thing with a ten. We're almost back at twelve thousand subs, which hey James. Hello, Will. Where are What's you up? right now, James? I'm in my office. Where are you, Will, right I'm in, now? I'm in my office, James. Well, that's interesting, because I'm currently in my office, Will. Well, that's, that's quite interesting, because I'm in my office, so... Well, that's that's absolutely smashing. I'm so glad for you that well, you're in your office well, the right thing now. Is, the thing is that I'm in my office. Right, and, so uh, that's also where I am currently yeah, as well. Yeah, that's currently where I am. Uh, mm. I'm, in, I'm in your office. No. No, 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 you're in your office. Turn around. <laughs> Okay, that, that did actually scare me for a second, but did you're you know, not here. Uh, Buffalo R Snobs has just gifted 25 subs. That's pretty cool of them. Thank you, Buffalo R Snobs. Yeah, thank you, Buffalo R Snobs. Do you know Tommy's on the way? He's sprinting here. Oh. He's running. I, oh. Look, I tried. He said he was going to come to my office and strangle me to death. And I said, go on oh. then. And he said, okay. And now he's sprinting. Well, I, I hope I that goes well for that. you. I hope you don't die. I hope you stay alive you in your to, office. Do you want to come and defend me? Uh, oh god, I don't know if I'm in the in the mood. You've kind but of like, you kind well, of you ditched us walk. for a while. What do you mean ditched you for? I went to Estadio Unidos. It's Estados. Estadio. You, you've just said the, the United Stadium. <laughs> Yeah. But like the effort yeah, was there. I, That's I, the I important did. thing. I did. I did say United <laughs> Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. James, when are you coming downstairs? We can speak Spanish together. Watch this. Tell oh. me to say something, and I'll tell you it in Spanish. Cock and balls. Cock. No. <laughs> Co coco. 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 <laughs> and I want. I want balls again. In. Ball. Oh, ball. A cocoa and ball. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, mate. I think you got it. <laughs> Give me another one. Um, um, hmm, uh, Wil Wilbur Soot. Wil Wilbur Soot. Nice. You, you got that one right. Congratulations. Give me, one. Give me another one. Um, another one. Uh, Otre Vez. It's actually not, it's not that far from the truth. Otro vez. Otro vez. You can have that one. Yay! <laughs> Give me another one. <laughs> um, uh, leave me alone. Fucko off. Oh, okay. No, 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 James, oh, really... James, James, oh, James, well, come down to my office, brilliant. James. Yeah, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Something I, something I had when I was learning Spanish was, was that I, I, I said everything with an accent because apparently that's how they say it in Spain Spanish, right? But the thing is, is that I've I've heard Wilbur, from... the windiest fucking day in England. Hey, Tommy. Wilbur, it's the windiest day in England. I know. It's a, there's a storm. Oh, there's a storm, and not the Fortnite kind of poggers one. No. Oh, uh, are you? Where are you right now? I'm gonna mug someone. Don't, don't. Okay. Are you in an I'm Uber? Gonna... No, I'm running. You're actually running. 
<laughs> oh yeah, but I've got speed. Go around the back into okay. go go the oh. back way. Oh, Wilbur! Jurassic it's... kittens just gifted five subs, Tommy. I like to consider myself a bit of a Jurassic kitten. At no, times. I don't think you are actually. You really don't think so? I don't think you're much of a Jurassic kitten, no. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go quick, Wilbur. Okay, I I believe in you. I listen to you. Motivate me. Okay, uh, you you are in the cold. You are in the cold, but it's fine because soon you'll be in the war, man. We can go and see James Marriott. Wait, that's not, no. We don't have to see James Marriott. Yeah, you're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. You're gonna do really good. You're running really fast. Don't There's get, bus, Wilbur. don't get recognized by anyone on the way, please. Okay. Just run, run, run as fast look. as you can. I hope no one watching this lives in Brighton <laughs> or lives on the outskirt area of Brighton who would be able to see you running because they'd know where you are right now and they could go and get you. Do -do -do -do. Chat saying do 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 do. Got my pokey walker on me. I'm building up steps. You got your what on you? I need to take a breather, King. Okay, well, you keep running. Don't stop running. Oh, uh, Wilbur. I'm stopping to run. Sorry, to sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll. I've got to be right back, Tommy. I'll, I'm sorry. I'm two seconds.